What is going on guys? This is Patty, and uh, I promised to do a credit class video. I promised that it would come out. I didn't promise that it would come out Sunday, but I said it would come out Sunday, and it didn't. Uh, and I got lazy yesterday. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to get into my custom classes, or my creative classes, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I didn't bother naming these, because the second I prestige, you're going to get reset anyways. Uh, but just like in Modern Warfare 3, I run uh, two pairs of threes, and then three pairs of symbols. Meaning, I have three assault rifle classes, three SMG classes, and then, then like your sniper, your shotgun, and your knifing class. Because that's what I have. So, uh, we'll go over perks, then we'll go to uh, equipment, and then we'll go to uh, the guns, and we'll go to the attachments, and I'll explain everything, and we'll be all set. So, first things first. Uh, because of the amount of UAV spam in this game, I run Ghost. I run Ghost on every single fucking class. Every class except for this one. And the difference between my Assault Rifle classes and my SMG classes is I run Ghost, just flat Ghost on my Assault Rifle classes, but I run Ghost Hardline on my SMG classes. And it's not only because Hardline is a very valuable perk, but because when I'm using an SMG, I'm running more of like a pure offensive. You know, I'm, I'm just... I'm just running, I'm sprinting, I'm fucking hurtling, I'm doing everything. And ha having one kill knocked off is is very helpful, especially for close quarters with, with, a, with a submachine gun. Now the reason I don't have it on my assault rifle is because, well, you know, I'm... You, you seem to pick more people off cross map with an assault rifle than you do close range, so you don't really have that aspect of dying as much as you do if you would be close quarters with an SMG. It's all from a death aspect, basically. But here, two perk is Scavenger, across the board. Now, just like with my first perk on my, on my Assault Rifle classes, I run Scavenger Flinch. But on my SMG classes, I only run Scavenger. Uh, the Flinch on... or sorry, I run Scavenger Toughness. I apologize. The Flinch on the assault rifles is kind of bad. Uh, and I've, I've had times where, like, obviously when they're shooting someone, they'll shoot me and my gun will, like, point up in the air. Uh, so running toughness on the assault rifles is kind of needed. The flinch on the SMGs is very easy to maintain, so you don't, you don't need flinch at all. It's not worth wasting. And then my third perk is Engineer, and the reason I roll Engineer is because I also have black hats. So Engineer allows me to... Uh, see equipment through walls. So I can see Betty, Shock Charges, Claymores, um, C4, Sentry Guns, Guardians, and Hacked Care Packages. And then the Black Hat allows me to hack everything I just listed, plus AGRs, UAVs, County UAVs, Care Package Choppers, Care Packages, even the ones that fall on top of buildings that you can't reach. Uh, I can take out choppers and stuff with them too, but... Uh, you have to get rid of the flares. So, you know, if, think of it as just like uh, like a Strela or a Small or whatever the hell you use to shoot down equipment. And then last but not least, you got the Bouncing Benny. You know, you guys know me. I just, I kind of derp around and just chuck them, chuck them places. Uh, so, I kind of I kind of made these classes based on the weapons I really liked and I like to use. So my three Assault Rifle classes, I have the M27, I have the M8A1, and I have the AN-94, and I love the AN-94. The AN-94 is a very, very clean gun. And then for SMGs, I have the Scorpion, which I'm kind of not a fan of, but I am at the same time. I don't know. It's kind of a hit or miss gun. That's why I'm still, I'm, I'm still leveling it. Uh, I got the PDW, and then I got the MSMC, and then these, these last classes are kind of not important. Uh, so you know, these are all like my favorite guns. And attachment-wise, stock is probably the greatest attachment ever. It's just like Stalker from Modern Warfare 3. So you slap it on and you're, and you're able to strafe while you're aiming down sights. You're able to to aim down sights and kind of, you know, come around a, come around a corner instead of running around the corner then aiming down sights and possibly dying. You know, you'll be able to get that first shot on people better. And especially with the way the, the lag is and the hit detection is, being able to strafe and to put out those couple extra bullets is definitely going to get you some more kills. So I run stock on every single gun that I have it on lockdown. Every single gun. Uh, my rule of thumb is, it's not worth really running extended mags at all on anything. Dual mags is probably your best bet. It doesn't give you extra ammo like it did in Black Ops, but the fast reload time over 10 extra bullets, 
I'll take the fast reload time. Uh, so the M27s, uh, a 30 shot clip, I just run dual mags. The Scorpion, same thing, 30 shot clip, dual mags. Uh, the MS, or the M8A1, this is the one gun I'll put extended mags on. Because since it's a, a four shot burst, I'm not reloading as much. Like, when, when I use it, I tend to be very accurate with, with this gun. So I'm not reloading nearly as much as on my other guns. So having extended mags on this, especially during like intense gunfights where you can't afford to reload, especially with a four shot burst gun, is very, very nice. The long barrel on the PDW. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. There's no reason to run dual mags or extended mags because it's got a 50 shot clip in it. So long barrel gives you more damage and range. And it actually works on that FMJ. Now we come down to the Ant-94, the uh, AK Gewehr Hybrid. So it, I mean, it's got the iron sets of a Gewehr and the feel of an AK. Uh, dual mags in this as well. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Fast reload. And uh, if you put extended mags on it, you only get 10 extra bullets. It's, it's, it, again, it's really not worth it. And then last but not least, we have the MSMC. Now this gun is only a 30 shot clip. And you guys might be wondering, well, you put dual mags on everything else, and this is the only gun that you didn't put dual mags on, other than the PDW, but the PDW is 50 shots. Well, the MSMC is probably by far the best the best SMG in the game. It's probably got the highest damage with, with long barrel on it, and that's why. Stalker long barrel, um, I mean, I could probably f screw with something and probably take off like hardline and a, and a black hat and toss on a third attachment, but I don't really want to. I really only do third attachments in like game battles and competitive, and then my my setup goes to like ghost toughness, and dead silence, uh, frag concussion, triple uh, triple uh, attachment. So I'll run like quick draw stock long barrel or something, or maybe dual mags on the MSMC stock long barrel. Uh, the last two classes, I'll just go over these real fast. This is my knifing class. This is the same class I used in my. Um, Knife only FFA, the, the Betty Madness video. So this is double Betty, double shock charge, dexterity for the uh, the sprinting, right? Um, scavenger, obviously, to pick everything back up. And then Ghost Hardline, one, because you're always moving, and Hardline, because, you know, it's kind of hard to string together kill streaks with only using a knife, Bettys, and shock charges. My shotgun class, uh, I, I don't really use this. I put stock on to kind of fuck with it, and I didn't, I didn't really, I haven't used it yet, so I, I don't have anything to say about this. And uh, my sniper class, which is kind of shitty. Oh well. So uh, they're my classes. There's all nine of my classes. Uh, I'm almost. I mean, I haven't played in a couple of days. I've been kind of giving this game a little bit of a break, playing some Torchlight too. But uh, I am uh, I'm fifth prestige, so I'm, I'm halfway there. You know, I got to that halfway point, and then I'm going to start easing it off a little bit. But um, I'm looking to probably hit sixth. I, will, I probably might put some time in later this week, maybe. Uh, definitely got to play on Friday. Uh, but yeah, so rule of thumb. Run toughness on your assault rifles. Don't bother on your SMGs. Um, Ghost is probably the best perk in the game. Uh, what else? Don't waste a point on sights. Get used to the iron sights. All the iron sights in this game are very good. Uh, especially the A94. I love the A94 iron sights. What is this thing? A94 iron sights are excellent. Um, if you're looking for some kills, uh, I suggest running uh, MSMC, PDW, uh, the M8A1, depending on the map, is very nice. Uh, the Type 25 is a very good gun as well. If you can handle single shots, I'm not a huge fan of the single shots in this game. Uh, but if you can handle single shots, you can definitely go with one of the single shot rifles. Um, or if you want to troll around with a 3 burst, you can go with the Chick Arm too. Chick Arm's a very, very good gun. Oh, and uh, Engineer. Engineer Black Hat combo is OP. Super, super OP. Engineer Black Hat Scavenger combo is even more OP. So, um, there you go. That's my creative class. Uh, kill streaks don't matter. I run UAV counter lightning strike. Never changes now. Nah, it's all I run. Don't care. So there you go. There you have it. Those are my custom classes and I guess my square streaks. Uh, so I'm Patty, guys. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't subscribed and, and you know, you're a new person, first time viewing me, uh, check out my channel. Hit that sub button. 
I appreciate you guys subbing to me. I'm almost at a thousand subs. I'm at like 750 right now. 250 more to go. Uh, super, super, super excited. So, uh, I hope you guys have a good day, good night, uh, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, I'm gonna render this, take a nap, and play some torchlight. So, uh, later. Peace.